hello and welcome back to my channel my name is denny if you're brand new thank you for stopping in if you're an oldie but goodie or welcome back Today I have my Sunday swatches for you guys. I always am excited to do Sunday swatches. It's a way for me to play around with my palettes and also just come up with new color schemes for my eyelids. So today I'm going to be swatching the Juvia's Place Warrior 3 palette. Look at how beautiful this packaging is. A little bit about this brand, if you don't know, this is a female-owned brand. Not only that, it is a black-owned brand. Also, they are now found at Ulta, and this particular palette retails for $20, both on their site as well as Ulta's website. On the back, it tells you all the ingredients and everything uh, for you to know what it has. This particular palette does have talc and mica. And I'm not sure if any of these reds contain carmine or any of the colors in particular have it, but I do know that it is cruelty free. And um, this product is made in the PRC, which if you didn't already know, means China. It has a 24 month expiration date. When you open it up, the packaging always has a bubble wrapping around the palette. To protect it and it's not only just one but it has like two layers of bubble wrap isn't that awesome so you get your palette and the palette always has pretty much the same type of look as the carton box when you open it up it does not have a mirror but this right here is the beauty of this palette if you are wondering i have all three of the lower shades on my eyes at the moment because I had a look earlier today that I did and I have some other colors combined as well but these have amazing pigmentation so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and be swatching these guys for you guys and show you the colors in this palette as you see it's like a rainbow shade palette I'm not even gonna try to pronounce these names I think I'm just gonna write them on the bottom because it would be too difficult for me to actually pronounce the names. They're, they're just very difficult. So the first color we have is green. Also, look at how gigantic the pan size is. Huge. So this is that first shade, that green shade. Look at all that pigmentation. That was literally one swatch. So the next color that I have in this palette is this matte yellow. And I love yellows. I'm actually going to dig in that twice. I probably didn't need to but oof, look at that all right that was that was like two swatches I probably didn't need that much to even show that I don't know why I did that mostly because I always think of yellows as being kind of pale on my skin there's no way so the next shade in this palette is a red one and look at that so we pretty much have a lot of primary colors or well not primary but almost <laughs> the next row has like a orangey type of red and these so far are all matte there's only two shimmers in this palette then the next shade is a purple and this is more like I don't even know um this is like a reddish type of purple I would consider it more red than actual like blue in it I like purples like this I just believe that this is gonna stain the next shade in this palette is a pink shade And here we go with that one that one I think needs a second swatch so I'm gonna go ahead and build that one up there you go on to the last row where we have this shimmer blue shade gorgeous this just this no words how gorgeous that is then we also have a shimmery silver or like a grayish silver I would say It's like a icy, like bluish silver. Love. 
it looks great on the eye. And the last color, which is like a light blue. And that right there. All of these are buildable and they look beautiful on the eyes. That's pretty much it. It looks amazing. The eye look that I did, I could have pretty much did a complete eye look with just those three shades. But I wanted to put something a little bit deeper in there and that's what you're seeing. However, I have had this look on for a long time today so uh it's not very fresh there you have it those are all the colors that were inside of this palette such a beautiful palette i definitely recommend juvia's place palettes in general because they have amazing pigmentation also value for these giant pans i think is spot on i think you get your money's worth and if you enjoyed these swatches, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Become a member of my gun, Sam. And as always, from my house to yours. Love ya.